Well, things are certainly changing here in the reptile room. As you can see, I've got... Ooh. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but... Hey there, Ramblers. My name's Hammer with the Ramblin' Richardsons. Welcome back to the channel. Today is major overhaul time. It's about to rain. I'm gonna see if I can get this taken care of. Ooh, you see that back there? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Cool. All right, let's get started. We've got some work to do. All right, Johnny's enclosure is gonna come apart. First, I gotta find him. I don't know where he's at. He was right there. After I got Johnny out of his enclosure safely, it was time to start the cleaning process. I took out all of the plants and decor and then took the substrate out. I didn't film any of the dismantling of the enclosure because it was pretty basic, just take everything out. The last step was getting these clay balls out that I used as a drainage layer and cleaning everything. Here's the finished product, squeaky clean. So we're gonna put some insulation foam in the back of this to create something for Johnny to live in. A little bit better than what he had. I didn't video much of the process because it is about to storm. Oh yeah. So I got most of the insulation foam in there and that little cork round getting beat up by bugs and going inside. While I was building out Johnny's enclosure, I put him in this temporary tank. After the insulation foam cured, I carved a bunch of it out around the cork tube I'd put in there to make room for plants and other objects. Like this cork tube that I sealed in with insulation foam so that he can go in and hide to feel secure. I also carved out a little cave so that it can collect water, grow moss, and just be another general hiding spot. The last part is this hole that I cut in so that I could put a potted plant up here and switch out as needed. Then I laid everything on its side and started to cover it with black silicone. After I put the black silicone down, I'd put a mixture of coconut fiber and sphagnum moss to cover up the black silicone, leaving the entire background covered in dirt. This will help so much with humidity and makes the background look more natural. After everything cured, I came back and scraped off all the excess silicone from the glass and any remaining parts that needed to be cleaned. Before Johnny's tank could be completed, the entire reptile room needed a whole revamp. That was hard, hard work. Thankfully, my neighbor brought me a saw. Good God. Before any of the enclosures could go back on the baker's rack, I had to make some modifications. I cut this particle board down to size, and then I covered it in two layers of liquid rubber. This is going to protect not only the metal, but the wood from any moisture that may come upon. One of these boards is going to go under Beans' new tank, which brings me to my next overhaul. Beans is going to go into Frank's old tank. So I sprayed everything down with a vinegar and water solution after the tank had been completely drained. I sprayed it down really good and let it sit for a few minutes. Then I scrubbed everything down with a brush and wiped down everything with a cloth. I took some isopropyl alcohol and wiped down everything after that to ensure that it was 100% clean. Next, I took some of this neoprene mat and I cut it down to size to fit the enclosure I used this little straight blade to cut all the way through 
so that it matched the exact bottom of the enclosure. I'll use the same silicone as before on Johnny's tank to apply a layer to the neoprene. It came with one side already having adhesive, but I wanted to make sure that it stuck really well. But we still have one more enclosure to take care of, the Amano shrimp. I decided to get rid of the old acrylic tank and go planted. So I took Bean's old enclosure and cleaned it out in the same fashion, put the neoprene mat on it, and I got some beautiful dragonstone. After measuring everything out, I applied silicone to the dragonstone and the bottom of the tank and put the rocks in place. I ensured I left enough room for the sponge filter. Next, I had to set up this filter from Aquarium Co-op. Okay, so we're in the home stretch of getting the reptile room set up. And I think I may be able to get the aquarium going tonight and cycling. So I'm going to get this Aquarium Co-op sponge filter set up. We've got some airline tubing and things like that. We're going to have a bubble bar in there. Um, and for beans, we're going to do his as well. So we get going on this and at least get this prepped up for tonight. It took me a couple of tries, but I eventually got the sponge filter set up for the aquarium and for Beans's new enclosure. After the silicone cured, I filled the aquarium up with some aqua soil. I tried to level everything out with my hand as best as I could. I cleaned out a space on the rack to put the aquarium, but the reptile room was an absolute mess. I need to get this place cleaned up. And we need to add water to the aquarium to get it cycling. I added some water, which is a little cloudy. But then I went back and planted some Ludwigia and some Anubius. I mounted this bracket on the wall to fit this LED light above Beans' tank just for ambiance. Let's see how it looks. That'll do the trick. I attached another one to the underside of the baker's rack with some gardening wire so that this light could fit directly over the planted tank. After the plants were put in, everything was coming along nicely. I'm going to wait a little while before I put the shrimp and snails in, but I'm liking the way this setup looks already. Since I'm redoing the entire reptile room, I took a chance to go ahead and mount some more LED lights behind my main bookshelf. I think they look pretty cool. Now we can finish Johnny's enclosure. This means dismantling the terrarium that I had built several months back. So I pulled out all the pepperonium and put it into a bin to save for later for Johnny's tank. I nestled a couple of rocks that I had into the terrarium and then replanted one of the smaller pepperoniums. Then I came back with a few different kinds of mosses I'd picked up at the store and planted them around the rocks and the pepperonium. Alright, so far I've added the pepperonium. We got our dirt down here with a drainage layer. I've got his little wood piece in there. Things coming along nicely. Oh yeah. Once the plants were planted that I took from the terrarium, I scattered some leaf litter on the floor and made sure that all of the decor was in place including a little bamboo run and this jungle vine that goes across the entire enclosure. And this plant fit perfectly in the hole I carved out earlier. This will give Johnny a little bit of cover. Here's the finished product. All of that work for this reptile rack. Here's the finished product for Johnny's enclosure. 
after a couple of weeks, pepperoni I'm starting to grow up. Everything looking good. Sheila's enclosure still doing just fine. This is Bean's new tank. It's currently cycling. Got some filter media back here. I'll bet it gets cycled. And here's the planted tank. I got a couple of floaters up top, an Anubius, some Ludwigia. This terrarium eventually will be something else, but right now it's just a placeholder until we can figure out what we're gonna do with it. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this reptile rack came out. Once I know the tanks have cycled, I'll go ahead and put the aquatic animals into their forever homes. For now though, everything's coming along nicely. Having all the animals on one rack will make things so much easier when it comes time for feeding and cleaning. Well guys, the new reptile rack is complete. So there's more to come. The reptile room isn't completely finished. I'm not showing you guys this side because we're redoing that side as well. So once I get everything buttoned up, I'll show everything on the channel. But for right now, the animals are happy. Johnny's doing good in his enclosure. Sheila's doing good in her enclosure. The planted tank looks like it's coming along just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, go down there and like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. And life's about the journey, not the destination. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. That was hard, hard work.